Welcome to my first week of being unemployed because I got laid off. If you didn't see my last video, I talked about what happened, but we're staying positive and the good news is it feels like spring. It is like 60 degrees out. It's Saturday and before I got laid off, we had ordered a grill. So we're gonna put that together. We also have outdoor furniture to put together, which was a gift from my dad for our birthdays. So let's do it. We know nothing about grills or grilling, but Abram, my husband, said he wants to be a grill chef. Nah, uh, just first part is a grill. <laughs> you just wanna be a grill? Mm -hmm. Okay. My life aspiration. I'm gonna go get a grill. I'll tell you what, by the end of this first unemployment week, this has to be spotless. Um, the pickles are out because I was drinking pickle juice for breakfast. I don't want to hear anything about it. Yesterday, after I ended my video, Logan showed up and surprised me with seven brew. So I put it in the fridge because it was kind of late in the day, and I'm going to drink it today. Mmm, watered down coffee. Actually, I feel like this isn't hitting quite right now. I'm going to go with a fresco. Do you get hydration when you drink, like, sparkling waters? Because I need hydration. <laughs> I just, like, chronically hate water, though. Like, drinking this... Mm. A little bit of flavor. Carbonation. I love carbonation. I think I might just watch. This feels like the right thing for me to do right now. It literally smells pretty outside. Like, it smells exactly how it feels. Wait till our trees are not dead. So, I think you should, like, put all the lakes together first, and then that just, like, goes on top. Yeah, but I think the lakes are in here. Uh oh. I think they're under. Do you want my help? Like, <clears throat> picking this up out of there or something? Okay, there's definitely not legs in here. The, just seeing you, like, next to a grill, like, you look like such a man. And the pocket knife just on cooldown ready? Okay. Okay, Boy Scout. I got, like, whatever the first little rank was and said, I'm good. You're not an Eagle Scout. I learned how to make a fire and tie some knots that are un unknotable. Right now we're in the stages of like everything's a mess and we don't know what's going on so I will jump back in when things make more sense. got the grill all put together now we're gonna go grocery shopping for the week so we can meal prep also we are borrowing my dad's jeep for a little bit and then i left my car at logan's last night so we're gonna take the jeep get the hana and drop the jeep back off at my dad's and then we'll go to the store <laughs> anyway i'm glad that it is nice out because my dad permanently has the doors off the jeep so Alright, we just dropped off the Jeep. We're at my parents' house and we're gonna go to the store. And I went to look for snacks. This is probably the healthiest option. So, healthy in my healthy era. Went for a banana and not chocolate. Love that for me. That was the alternative chocolate? Yes. <laughs> There's no in between. No. Just got back from church and there was a package on my door and I forgot that Charlie said to be expecting something on Sunday because she sent me something. That's so cute. Bestie goals. What the? It came with an envelope but then the card wasn't in the envelope. Aww. She got me a Kendall gift card. Kindle Fire gift card. Does that mean that I can buy books with this? That is perfect, actually, because I've been working on reading Throne of Glass and now I don't have the money to buy them, so. Perfect, that's so cute. I just found the note at the bottom and it says, sorry you got fired from your bestie. <laughs> So great. Love Charlie. I woke up pretty late for church as in like we should have been there when I woke up So we don't have time to have coffee or anything and normally on Sundays either before or after church We'll go get coffee at like 7 brew or something, but now we are on a budget because I don't have a job. So coffee at home 
and we're just gonna sit on the deck. It's kind of raining, but half of our deck is covered and just sit, chill, and enjoy until family dinner in about three hours. Part of my little Sunday reset, I'm gonna cut up some veggies and get a little bit of a veggie tray going for some snacks. I don't think I'll meal prep today. Probably just do that tomorrow when I make lunch. And then, yeah, we still have a little bit until family dinner. I was just honestly sitting rotting on my couch after I cleaned and was just watching TikTok and everybody was posting about the Grammys and Taylor Swift's new album and everything. So I was like, you know what? I've literally never watched an award show in my life. Why not? So I just threw it up. Charlie just FaceTimed me. Well, I think I FaceTimed you. Whatever happened, we're FaceTiming. Usually we have our girly bestie catch up chats on Wednesday, but we have a lot to catch up about this last weekend, so. The Getting Fire Weekend. Getting Fire Weekend. <laughs> Get fired with me. <laughs> I want to do like my planner and all that. I think I'll fill out a little bit of it right now and I'll finish it tomorrow actually. Let's do that. All the time I've imagined myself filling out this planner for the first time has been like sitting at a desk, headphones on, laptop out to look at stuff. But I don't know, I kind of want to do that tomorrow and just write out a few things like my plan for tomorrow today and then tomorrow I can fill out the rest of my plan but I want to show you guys a planner I got like I said I bought this before I got laid off but it was seven dollars on Amazon and I was like buying it like oh now I can stay organized throughout my day of, like aside from work okay well now I don't work so I definitely need to stay organized I'll probably sleep in a little bit tomorrow and then when I wake up go to the gym and kind of get my day going but other than that I want to be like at the gym by nine o'clock so I know it's not like super early, but it's like early enough for being unemployed. This is so cute. Okay, so one of the things is like weekly focus. My weekly focus will be starting my next chapter in life. I also love how it has like a little bit of a habit tracker. All right, week one, 
in the books. Well, not in the books, but the books, the books are planned. When I saw it on Amazon, I knew it was the one for me because you have like weekly focus to do your priorities. You can write some notes, a habit tracker. Didn't know that was gonna be in there and I love that. What I really needed it for was for this daily week by week calendar because I always just in a notebook am writing like what my plan is for the day based on timestamps and having it just like right here in one section is so good. I have like 10 different journals I've been writing all of it in. And it's not dated. As you can see, I dated it myself, which means if you stop using it halfway through the year, you can use it next year and that's totally fine. Good morning, siblings. Happy Monday. It is now the first Monday I'm not Checking in with work, sitting down at my work computer, getting the corporate work life going. Don't have a job anymore. I want to stick to some routines. So I got all ready for the gym. I really want to try to focus on like health and fitness over this time period to keep me like going and in a good routine. I actually woke up at 8 a.m. no alarm and it's currently 9.30. I did kind of do a little bit of like rotting in bed and then like slowly got ready. I just put on coffee, but I'm actually gonna drink a little bit of a Celsius and just head to the gym. Coffee's for my husband. And it's Monday, so naturally we'll be hitting leg day. And then side note, I was thinking, would you guys be interested in a video where I talked about all the things that I learned like working in corporate America for like a year and a half? Cause I feel like I see those videos on TikTok all the time and I feel like I learned some things that could be helpful. So let me know if you wanna see that video. Anyway, let's go to the gym. Wait, sorry, I forgot that I'm planning on going to the gym for like a while since I have nothing else to do. So I definitely need some food in my system. I was thinking about making hard boiled eggs, but that's gonna take so long. Actually, I really did. You know what? I should just do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna crack open a Celsius. I'll probably drink like half before I go to the gym, however much I can down, and then finish it when I get back. The orange flavor is hitting. Based on my schedule I made yesterday, I'm quite behind, <laughs> but I guess it doesn't really matter. Fun fact about me, I hate egg yolk, unless it's like mixed in like scrambled eggs or fully cooked through or in deviled eggs. And I'm like, should I try to take a bite out of it? I haven't done that in so long. Okay, here we go. I mean, okay, it's not awful. I see why people might like it, but it's really dry. Okay, now I'm ready for the gym. I may have just convinced Logan to come with me. <laughs> I got in the car and FaceTime him and I was like, what are you doing? He was like being lazy. So I was like, I'm coming to your house, get ready, we're going to the gym. But he said he needs a little time to get ready. I'm gonna check my mail. I actually am bringing my Celsius then and we'll hang out. So I'll probably actually get some good content of me working out because when Log goes, he'll help film me. I'm at Log's house, just waiting. Hanging out with his roommate's dog. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ready for the gym? Kind of. Sid? <clears throat> yes? How much USD to go over there and take a chug from the Blackstone water? Well, considering I don't know the last time it was cleaned, it's literally rusted so I could die. And that rain has probably been sitting there since... Yesterday. Saturday. It's been raining since Saturday. Um, but I don't have a job, so... Um, 20 bucks? I was thinking like a thousand. Oh! <laughs> A thousand? I might die! You wouldn't die over 20 bucks? No. Made it to the gym? Yes. Gonna gym hit log. pool day? I was gonna do leg, but I'm just gonna stick with log, so pool, pool day, wait, pool? Pool. Yeah, pool day it is. I looked up TikTok workout songs. Some country music in the gym. I just smacked my head so hard. Okay, Jim is like bumping, so I'll try to talk over the music, but we're done. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so dead. That was like an hour, 53 minutes. 
that was a great gym sesh. I feel like I always work out a little harder when I go with someone, so I love going with Log. We're gonna try to go earlier tomorrow because I don't like just now being done with like my morning and it's noon. That feels like a crime. Like I'm used to being up back from the gym and working and now I'd be on my lunch break. But I am going to make my husband lunch and I don't know if I feel like making my meal preps right now, but I know I should, but I have to like measure everything out. I'm just gonna make his lunch first because his lunch break is done at one. He has like a super busy work week, so I'm just trying to help him out as much as I can this week. Since, you know, technically, I'm like a stay at home wife right now. <laughs> so I may as well help where I can. Today's lunch is the same thing I had for dinner last night. I didn't feel like doing a full meal prep, but this is like a modified version of one of my meal preps. Chicken, rice, and then like this sugar-free sauce. And that's it. <laughs> All right, so something I wanna do is reorganize my office. I kinda wanna have my couch kinda pulled out where these boxes are, kind of in the middle of the room, and then put my bookshelf behind so I can have a nice spot to sit and film. I kinda have like bookshelves. I was also thinking I could turn it this way because then I have all the like um, sunlight directly onto the, where I would wanna film. So that could be good. I'm not too sure what the vibes are. I, mean, I kind of want to mess around with everything. And then I have my whole old work set up over here and I need to pack up all of the stuff that I have to send back because that's their computer and everything. So I'm going to sit down, clear the computer. And then another idea I had, which all these boxes need to go downstairs. They were in this closet. To move the desk that's in like that Bible study room in here and move all of my gaming stuff into my downstairs studio where I used to film for work. Cause then I feel like I might play games more often if I'm in like somewhat of a close proximity to my husband because he's in the basement. And I feel like the basement at night is more of a vibe and that's when I would play video games. I don't know, I don't know what to do. All right, got that all reset. Goodbye, Mac Studio. lost on what the vibe should be because obviously if I film this way my closet doors are right there which is like fine I could like decorate almost like around the closet doors which would be really cute and then probably take down the shelf and do something there in the corner and then I could kind of always film over on that corner of the couch or I put the couch how it was but just have it pulled out and then decorate that wall which probably makes more sense but I don't know what to do for the vibes this would kind of be the other option, but then there's like kind of aggressive lighting coming from over here. I guess I would film more like nighttime. I mean, I can close the blinds actually. Yeah, hold on. But this would be the other vibe. Then I can move that black thing I moved out is a cat litter thing. Put it behind me. Let me just do that real quick. I mean, that works pretty good. You can't even see it. I don't know about the mirror anymore. I don't know about any of this. I'm almost like, what if I brought them down and then I could literally put books on them. And I don't know what I would do with this bookshelf. I mean, instead of this, I could put the bookshelf in the middle and bring these shelves down. And then it would just be like books, books, books. And then eventually I could like add to these kind of bookshelves going up the wall, kind of like a DIY bookshelf vibe. So yeah, I kind of like that. And then basically where my camera is, I could put my desk. Okay, I'm kind of liking this vibe. Obviously my bookshelf is a mess. And if I bring these down, I also have other shelves I could like swap it for. I know this is gonna be awful lighting, but the vibes in this desk just makes me want to vomit. So whether or not I move it downstairs, I'll probably at least move it into the guest room and move that desk into here. This is gonna be a lot of work. <coughs> so let's get started. I'm actually gonna start by getting this desk ready and making room in here. I just realized how long this video probably is because apparently I just filled up an SD card. I don't even remember the last time I did that. This is like disgusting, all the cords, but I have them all detached, so I should be able to just move this as one unit. <laughs> I really hope I don't scratch my brand new floor. I think the desk has like those soft things on it, so it should be fine. I don't know if this will fit through the door though. Okay, I'm just gonna 
Okay, well, we may as well try. Okay, it's fitting. This is gonna be interesting to get it into that room. No way, this just fits perfectly. This is actually, could not have gone better. That worked out so perfect. This room is actually disgusting right now. That's all the old decor for my living room, which I'm gonna hang up in here. So I'm gonna worry about this room in a minute. I'm gonna set up the OG room first. Okay, this is a problem I did not expect. This isn't actually a desk, it was my old kitchen table, so it's a weird height, and this doesn't fit under there. Well, I mean it does, but like it doesn't. Let me try sitting. It's definitely like a little like weird, and it's very long, because it's supposed to be like a table. But I feel like it'd be good, because then I can like have stuff up there, and then lean back here to do my editing, so I feel like it works fine. Okay, so all in all, the way I have it all set up, I could push the couch back, more. It's a little bit crowded with the big chair and the big couch, but for what I'm going to use it for, I feel like it works perfect. Sitting here filming, sitting here editing. So I feel like it's fine. It's not like I'm having lots of people in this room all the time or anything. Obviously it's a mess right now, but I just like how it feels less corporate job vibes. While my camera was charging, I got everything set up and I'm loving the vibes. I really like the setup. It feels very cozy, which is exactly what I want. So on my desk now, I have my laptop and I hooked it up to one monitor because I like to watch stuff while I edit and whatnot. And then I've got like my cameras. I just brought out my Bible, my planner and everything. So my plan is I'm gonna do my quiet time because I didn't do that this morning. Then I have yoga, which I can't film in there anyway. Then when I get back, I'm gonna write down some video ideas, do my planner for the week, and talk to you guys about what my plan is for next steps. Okay, I read my Bible, spent some time with God, and I just feel so good and at peace and confident and joyful and positive right now. I definitely need to start my day by doing this, which that answered my question about how I'm gonna plan my week. But I feel like God is just really reminding me that he will provide everything I need every single day. This was one of my favorite verses when I first became a Christian and it's just hitting extra hard right now, but it's Matthew 6, 25. Therefore I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and body more than clothing? And then it continues on. It's a great passage. Jump down to verse 34 and it says, therefore don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And there are just so many verses running through my head about God providing and just focusing on Jesus so that's my like overall life plan <laughs> but I'm gonna go to yoga okay I accidentally took too long to get ready and now I'm like low-key running late can you tell it was a good workout also I didn't realize I had this like monstrosity of a bun the whole time but my hair was on my face so it's fine in today's yoga First of all, it was such a good workout. Second of all, it was like hype energy. Like they were playing like hype songs. So I was really loving that. I was like, if this is like a slow flow, I'm just gonna lay on the floor and fall asleep. So I'm glad it was hype. And we practiced our splits today. I did not know I could do the splits. So when I get home, I'm gonna see if I can do them again for the camera. Okay, so basically started down here. And I can like almost pretty much do my splits. I'm like so close. <laughs> It may not be the best form or anything, but I'd say it's pretty good. I just didn't realize I was that flexible. I didn't do an everything shower, but I did wash my hair. And I'm realizing that the last time I showered was Friday afternoon, which is kind of disgusting. So I definitely just rotted away my weekend. But I mean, isn't that what weekends are for? That yoga was so good. I literally feel like I can breathe now. It's just something about that hot room that just hits. I'm definitely gonna miss that when my membership is done. Oh my gosh. Oh no, the more I think about it, I low-key do wanna start a notion board just to help keep me organized, but I'm definitely still gonna use this planner. I need like a lamp right here. <laughs> Let's chat.
chat about what my plans are. So obviously these are my first few days unemployed and as the weekend has gone by, me and my husband have talked and kind of looking at our budget and what I could do for next steps. I've decided that I will probably just go back to being a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> this is kind of a tough decision. I'm not 100% sure like it'll for sure, for sure last but at least for now for probably the next few months i want to give youtube my all i've had this youtube channel since i was 14 years old it kind of took off when i was like 16 used to post daily vlogs and it was my passion for a long time kind of the reason i stepped away was because it was extremely mentally draining for me and i just had no ideas i was not in a good place to be trying to like vlog my life after having that corporate job, which I don't really like corporate vibes, and I really, for like months now, have been wanting to get back into YouTube, but didn't have time. I feel like this is the right move. I always wanted to be a full-time YouTuber. I'm in a really great headspace now, and I'm just gonna give it everything I have, like fully committing starting tomorrow. I'm gonna actually like put in, you know, the same eight hours a day I was at my corporate job, but in YouTube, and focusing a lot on really just high quality, fun, good content. Along with that, I am actually going to start a book YouTube channel as well, join booktube. So if you guys want to subscribe to that, I will leave it down below. It's going to be called Reading with Sid. I kind of already designed it yesterday, which is why I wanted to have a setup with my bookshelf in the background. That second channel has been used since like 2018 on and off of different things like a vlog channel, a gaming channel. So if you're already subscribed to it, that's probably why. So my goal is to post two to three times a week on my main channel and that'll be a mix of live vlogs and then I have like like some like fun video ideas and then my book channel will obviously be about books book reviews reading vlogs plot breakdowns all of that kind of stuff because that's the kind of content that i really enjoy taking in so i'm just gonna give this my all for a few months see how it goes and then my kind of other ideas because if i can avoid at all costs not having to get another corporate job because i was getting paid so well at that job i wouldn't even be able to get a job that paid that well again i don't think and my dream is to be self-employed again and like actually succeed seed at that and give it my all because when I did YouTube before I honestly like never took it serious I went from just like a fun thing I did in high school and I never really treated it like a full-time job and it doesn't feel like a job anymore this feels so fun compared to like working a corporate job so I feel like I'm just in a whole new mind space to have like creative fun with this and if it doesn't work out then I'll go looking for a job my other idea is to start a business and I have a few different ideas of like things that I've always wanted to do as a business but I'm gonna just start with this see how kind of content creation, YouTuber stuff goes, obviously post on TikTok as well. My life is very up in the air. Like I said, I'm just really trusting God. I feel extremely lucky to even have like, oh, being a YouTuber to fall back on because I already have such a great start with you guys. Love you if you've been here forever. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I know this video was supposed to be like my first week being unemployed, but at this point, this video is so long of me just yapping. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.